Exam periods are very stressful and the most bothering subject student find is mathematics especially when it comes to remembering the formulae everyone tries to mug up the formulae we keep writing it everywhere make a note of it and keep in our pocket but still we forget or get confused why is it so did we do something wrong or is it not the right way to learn them there is a huge difference between mugging up the formulae and understanding them which we are going to learn in this session my dear friends the chapter surface areas and volumes which is also known as mensuration has a lot of formulae and the tricky part is they all look similar we have already completed various sessions on surface areas and volumes i suggest you to please watch these sessions for detailed explanation in this particular session we will be dealing with the formulae part only so you must have a little knowledge about the concept then this will be a revision tool for you even when the exams are knocking at the door so here we start these are the formulae of all the shapes which are mixed up and very difficult to bifurcate according to the shapes and the properties so what we'll do is first of all we'll divide them according to their areas and volumes now this is where we apply the basic knowledge it is a two dimensional thing as a length is multiplied with length whereas volume is three dimensional because it occupies space in three directions as an area is multiplied with length as you can see here all the formulae have variables r l h all the alphabets they are basically variables so the formula that has one variable with degree 3 like 4 by 3 pi r cubed or different variables with the powers when added gives 3 for example l b h the power of l is 1 the power of b is 1 and the power of h is also 1 and when we add them up it gives 3 these are all the formula to calculate volume and if the addition is 2 means it's the formula to calculate space taken by two dimensional objects that is area so l cube is three dimensional it's it's the formula to calculate volume 4 by 3 pi r cube that is also three dimensional This is also the formula to calculate volume. One thing you must remember is pi is not a variable; it's a constant. Okay, let's move on. Four pi r square. It's the formula to calculate area. And then one uh, by three pi r square h, r square and h. So the addition comes up to three. Pi r l. This is the formula to calculate surface area. Then two uh, pi r h again. R has power one, h has power one. It adds up to two, and so on. So this way, areas and volumes are divided. Now let's assign them according to the shapes. Let's take the cube first. Its surface area is six l square, where six represents six faces. and l square represents the area of each face and volume will be l cube as it is taking equal space in all three directions and l represents length now let's randomly choose another shape uh sphere well sphere is round from all the sides so its formula will involve pi and it will have only one variable that is radius the best way to learn it is its surface area is 4 times the area of a circle that is 4 pi r square about its volume is there anything in the list that involves only radius and has power 3 yes that is 4 by 3 pi r cube two shapes are done now let's take cuboid It also has six surfaces as that of cube, but there is no formula left that starts with six, because its only opposite faces are equal in area. 
which looks rectangular and an example of it is a duster. So look at the formula where you can see the area related to rectangle. This is 2 times LB plus 2 times BH plus 2 times LH as 3 pairs of rectangular surfaces, right? And its volume will be L into B into H that is LBH as each variable has power 1 which adds up to give 3. Now the remaining three shapes, cylinder, cone and thruster. Listing them or understanding them will be easier if we start with cylinder. It's very simple. For the circular surface, we use pi r square. Since it has two such equal surfaces, therefore 2 pi r square. For the lateral surface, it's like the bunch of rings one above the other. So 2 pi r is the length or perimeter of a ring multiplied by another length h to give the area 2 pi r h. As I said earlier, when length multiplied with length, it gives area. And therefore, totally it is 2 pi r into bracket r plus h. Can you figure out the formula for volume? Yes, it is pi r square h. Area of the base multiplied with height. Like we put rings to height h, similarly now if we put disc to the height h, we get volume. Now once we note it down, we can easily find the volume of cone, which is one third the volume of a cylinder. So 1 by 3 pi r square h. And uh, surface area? It also has one circular surface, that's why pi r square. And rest of the surface is calculated by the formula pi r l, where l is the slant height. So together it is pi r into bracket r plus l. And the last shape will get settled by itself. But if we have to write it by our own, then try to relate it with cone. About its surface area. It has two circular surfaces, so pi r1 square and pi r2 square. Its lateral surface area is on the similar line as that of cone, pi r1l and pi r2l, which totals up to give this. And for volume, as of cone, it is 1 by 3 pi r square h. Similarly, for first term, it is 1 by 3 pi r1 square h plus 1 by 3 pi r2 square h plus 1 by 3 pi r1 into r2 into h. Like r1 multiplied with r1, so r1 square. In the second term, r2 multiplied with r2 to give r2 square. And in the third one, r1 is multiplied with r2. Okay? You can also bifurcate surface area into lateral surface area and the total surface area. So guys, this is all about the standard shapes, but questions could also be asked by modifying these shapes, like cutting or combining them, say for example, a hemisphere or a capsule. Even at that time, you must be able to use the right formula and of course, logic. I am pretty sure that now you will not face any difficulties in understanding the formula. So friends, that's it for today. I hope you like this session. We have videos on algebra and geometry that you can watch on our website and channel. So do hit like button. If you have any query regarding this session or in mathematics, then comment down below. We read and reply to each and every comment. Do share this video with your friends. So subscribe to Let's Tute for further updates. Thank you for watching.